In my last video, I talked about breathing naturally and still having support and how to breathe properly. Today, I wanna to talk about expansion because it goes hand in hand with support and having a clear tone and control in your voice. So stay tuned. When we talk about expansion, we talk about the expansion of the ribs, the belly, everything that really surrounds the lungs so that the lungs can inflate and fill with air. This is a natural process and when you sleep or when someone sleeps and you watch them sleep, you can see how their chest and their belly rises as they're inhaling and it all goes in again when they exhale. This is just a natural process because of course, lungs fill with air, they expand and then as you're exhaling again, the air moves out and there's less volume inside. However, in singing, of course, we need a certain amount of air pressure. We need that density of that air column that moves from your trachea through the vocal cords so that we can actually create vibration of the vocal cords. And the higher the pitch is, the more tense and tight your vocal cords get and that's why you need more pressure. If you have ever played an instrument, whether it is a guitar, for example, the guitar, the shorter the string gets, the more tight it is, the higher the pitch gets. The same with any woodwind instrument, for example, the flute or the trumpet, the higher the pitch, the more pressure you need of that air that you're blowing into that instrument because it needs to create a faster oscillation. And in order to do this with your voice, we need that compression. And this is how compression is created. We talked about that natural breath, lifted chest, relax your shoulders, make sure you're nice and lifted so you have that posture and activate all those muscles that keep the air from just loosely escaping your lungs. So you don't want it just to escape, you wanna translate the air that moves into vibration and therefore a pitch. So expansion happens by, of course, inhaling and making sure your ribs, your belly, it all goes out. You wanna actually picture breathing all the way into your back so that you make sure there's a nice expansion. There's not much happening here, this because if it's already lifted, there's not a lot of action here. And now when you exhale, that expansion is what really allows you to push that air column up. And when the vocal cords are closed tightly, that's what creates that compression that then really allows for that high density, kind of high belted pitch or high head voice. And you couldn't see much happening, but those muscles all around were very, very tight. And I let out only a little bit of air because my vocal cords were tightly closed. And at the same time, I created that density here. It's almost like you're pushing the air against something, but there is a resistance that doesn't really allow the air to escape. And this is why it's actually harder to hold a higher pitch for a longer time just because the vocal cords are naturally more tightly closed unless you have a problem with breathiness but at the same time you don't really let the air out and so even when you just use chest voice see a lot of action and it doesn't really take a lot of effort except that I'm keeping this tight and I'm trying to keep that expansion as much as possible and when you inhale you need to create expansion so that you can activate those muscles and the more you try to keep the expansion and resist that urge to uh, just collapse the more you create that density of the air column so thank you so much for watching today give the video a thumbs up if you loved it and I'll see you next time Join my Facebook group, Master Your Voice. And until then, always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Bye.